Welcome to another RSR. Tonight we are reacting to the quarterfinals and predicting the semifinals of the 2024 CONCACAF Champions Cup. Reaction de la cortos de final y predicciones de las semifinales de la Copa Campeones de la CONCACAF. A pretty interesting round of quarterfinals here. Pretty good on predictions. Until the end, of course. With that being said, we start with quarterfinal three. We will recap them in order of how they finish. Quarterfinal three, Tigres, UANL, two, Columbus Crew, two, three to four on penalties. Tigres, UANL, dos, Columbus Crew, dos, tres, cuatro, penales. Columbus Crew wins on penalties at El Volcan. After drawing the first leg at home and drawing the second leg. Over 120 minutes on the road. Diego Rossi with both Columbus goals. Tigres gets two as well. One each, of course. From a Patrick Schulte mistake in the second leg to start it. Open the scoring. They open the scoring in the first leg as well. But in the end, they missed a lot of chances, and Columbus handed them a really good chance to win this tie, and it just wasn't meant to be. It just was not meant to be. Columbus played better defensively. They didn't score many goals either, but Tigres fumbled the bag a very good bit. Columbus gets it to penalties. They win on penalties. Patrick Schulte stands tall. I got this tie right. I had Columbus winning. Not exactly this way, but I had them winning. They survived without playing Cucho for both legs. He did not play the first leg. And they survived a game in 20 minutes without Aiden Morris, and they still won this tie. Good for them. But again, I was right. I had them winning. I was right. 1-0 on my predictions so far. 1-for-1. One one. Quarterfinal 2, Club America, 9 New England Revolution, two. Club America, nueve. New England Revolution, dos. I was right about this one. I had America winning the tie. I didn't expect them to curb stomp the Revs, but they did. Four nil on the road. 5-2 at home. They did allow two goals to the Revs at the Azteca, which kind of worries me. America has played better on the road than at home in this tournament so far, I gotta say. Again, that worries me. I don't think that's a very good thing for them. They honestly played the best home game at Estadio Azul, which isn't even their stadium. They didn't play well against... They lost to Chivas at home. They allowed two to the Revs at home. They've got five, six, seven goals for at Azteca at home, five goals against. And if you want to add the Esteli game, that would be nine, four, five against at home. It's not the best performances. Definitely worried about that, but we'll get there later. But I still got the tie right, two and oh, two for two. Quarterfinal one, CF Pachuca, seven. CS Herediano, one. CF Pachuca, siete. CS Herediano, uno. Pachuca, again, another curb stomping. Pachuca curb stomps Herediano. Herediano never really had an answer. They did score down in Mexico, which is great for them. On a penalty, of course. Stupid handball given away. Pachuca scores five. Down in Costa Rica, which a lot of teams struggle in Central America, even on both sides. They didn't. Two goals at home. They host the second leg over America in the semifinals. So that's good news for them. It's a very interesting situation, I gotta say. But I was right about this one as well. There ain't much to say. Pachuca curb stomped them. 3-0 and on my predictions. 3-for-3. Three three. And finally, quarterfinal four. CF Monterey, five. Inter Miami, CF, two. CF Monterey, cinco, cinco, Inter Miami CF, dos. 
I was wrong about this one. The one I got wrong was this one. Monterey didn't put them to the sword on either tie, but they still did enough in both games. Miami honestly sold the tie. Two red cards, multiple defensive mistakes. Their defense sucks. Messi did not show up when he played the second leg. No subs in the second leg, which is just weird. Weingott didn't play well. Jordi Alba sucked. Suarez didn't show up. They lost Robert Taylor going into the second leg, which is not great because uh, he's the only one who knows how to break a line besides Messi. So, Tata's tactics were horrible. Saved Tano Ortiz from, from himself. Wasn't the best situation. Miami legitimately bottled it. Deservedly so, honestly. So that means I'm 3-1 and one on my quarterfinal predictions. 3 for 4. 75% right, which is great. 3-0 and oh until the final matchup. But you know what? There you go. So, 3 out of 4, not bad. Let's go into the semifinals. Semifinal 1. CF Pachuca of Mexico versus Club America of Mexico. CF Pachuca contra Club America. For me, with Pachuca hosting the second leg... For me, I got Pachuca winning this tie. I really do. Because Pachuca has been perfect, so to speak, throughout this tournament. They should have won in Philly. They curb stomp him at Hidalgo. They curb stomp Herediano at Costa Rica. They should have put Herediano to the sword more at home. And they did allow a penalty. They've allowed their first goal of the tournament which was a penalty. They still haven't allowed a goal in open play, which is good for them. They're very good defensively. That's the good news. The bad news is America is not easy to play. But Club America has been very questionable, except for the Revs tie. They've been questionable. Esteli, they weren't great. They lost at Esteli. They only beat them 2-1 at home. 3 to 2 on aggregate or 2 nil, 3 to 2 on aggregate. They almost lost to Esteli. They lost to Chivas at home after beating them 3 nil at a Cron. They curb stomped the Revs but still allowed two goals to the Revs at home. You know, I got to say with the way this game, with the way this tie is set up, with Pachuca playing the second leg at home and the fact America hasn't played well at the Azteca, I think if Pachuca gets a draw at the Azteca, which I think they can, especially with how Solomon Rondon is firing and Adrisi and Deosa and Sanchez, you know, I think they could get a draw away. Then they go home, all they got to do is, hell, win by one at home. Draw nil-nil, especially if it's a scoring draw. Get that away goal at, on the road. I think Pachuca could get it done. So I have Pachuca going through to the final. Semi-final two, CF Monterey of Mexico versus Columbus Crew of the MLS USA. CF Monterey contra Columbus Crew. And you know what? I got Columbus Crew winning. Because Wilfred Nancy is a way better manager than Tano Ortiz and Tata Martino combined. Cucho will be playing both legs. Aiden Morris will be playing both legs. I'm sure Patrick Schulte is really going to be built. He's a good goalkeeper, but really build up his confidence after that penalty shootout win. Farsi is awesome. Rossi is getting off the mark. Honestly... Columbus, the way they're playing, I like what's going on with them. I like where they're going. I like where they're heading. They basically kneecapped themselves in both legs and still won over Tigres. Monterrey, on the other hand, they curb stomped Comunicaciones. They did enough against Cincinnati. Miami basically sold, and honestly, Cincinnati sold too. Columbus is the best MLS team Monterey's faced yet. Tano is still a Pecho Frio. The team of Monterey are still Pecho Frios as of now. Since Vucetich, they've been Pecho Frios. 
Tunnel Ortiz does not win semifinals. He's going to blow it at some point. I legitimately think Columbus Crew is going to get it done. Yes, they go to BBVA, the Steel Giant, for the second leg. I think they're going to win the first leg, which makes it a lot easier going down to Mexico. And I think they do enough at the Steel Giant to go through to the final. I do. I believe in Columbus Crew. Which means my predicted CONCACAF Champs Cup final for 2024, the one-legged final, is CF Pachuca hosting the Columbus Crew at Estadio Hidalgo because Pachuca will still have more points. Columbus Crew, a Liga Mekis versus MLS final. Once again, for the second straight year and the third time, actually, no, the third straight time and for the fourth time in five years. My bad. So, there you go. Pachuca versus Columbus is my predicted final. I think that'll be an amazing final. We only have five games left in this tournament. Five. Three match weeks. Five games left. It'll be over before you know it. June 2nd, the CONCACAF Champs Cup final. End of April, early May, the semifinals. It'll be over before you know it. But with that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Want to subscribe? Send super chats on the live streams. Comment on this video. Put us in playlist. Share us friends and family. All that great stuff. I will see you on Saturday for a live watch along and review of Toronto FC versus. Toronto FC game. I'll be live for a Toronto FC game. <laughs> I'll be live for a Toronto FC game this weekend. I blanked on who they're playing. Damn. Okay, but I'll be live for the Toronto game this weekend on Saturday and review it. Then, of course, I'll be live for a Domingo Futbolero Liga Mekis match on Sunday. So there you go. <laughs> Why did I blank? It is what it is. With that being said, I'll see you on Saturday. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace.